Welcome back to the CICP Community Education Center. In this video, we explore the distinctions and relationships between data, information, knowledge, and wisdom. Many use these terms interchangeably. However, there are important differences that should be taken into consideration when referencing them. Let's first explore what each concept means using an analytical framework developed in the field of data management and data sciences called the DIKW Pyramid. The DIKW Pyramid offers a structured approach to understanding the transformation of raw data into readable, practical, and meaningful insights. The pyramid consists of four levels. First, data. Second, information. Third, knowledge and fourth, wisdom. The visual of a pyramid reminds us that each level built upon its preceding and that data must undergo transformation in order for us to properly learn from it. At the pyramid's base are data, the structure's building blocks. Remember, we define data as a collection of facts from which we will derive information. These data are raw in their various forms, for example, Think of quantities, a collection of documents, or interviews we want to learn from. At this point, these data are not organized. They have not been transformed or processed to allow us to draw any kind of conclusions from them or make informed claims or decisions. Data do not provide insights on their own. We must first organize and process them. The next level of the pyramid is information. We create information by constructing new categories and representing data in ways that are easier to interpret. When we seek information, we try to reveal the connections and relationships between various elements of our raw data. For example, once we have gathered all tax forms from registered charities in Canada, we can begin to compile and sort through the information available. Doing this can help us answer questions like, how many registered charities are there in Canada? Or, what percentage have no paid employees? Knowledge, the next level of the pyramid, is based on structured and organized information as well as first-hand or lived experiences from which we draw conclusions about how the world works. At this level, we can find patterns, correlations, or cause and effect relationships among various elements of the data collected. For example, suppose you are analyzing data related to donations and are interested in understanding why some people give more than others. In that case, you might be able to identify that some characteristics, such as age or income levels, are associated with higher donations to your organization. Despite the common assumption that knowledge derived from data is objective and neutral, we need to recognize that interpretations of the same information might vary. Why? Because people have different analytical approaches, or they can simply ask different questions about the same data. Developing knowledge provides a better understanding of situations and allows us to learn and progress in more efficient and effective ways. Wisdom is the highest level of thinking. It occurs when a person or an organization brings together all available knowledge and information to make informed decisions. Wisdom is the decision-making or practice level of our model. For example, you might use the knowledge gained from analyzing the previously mentioned donation data to identify patterns and make strategic decisions for your fundraising campaign. Let's say, through your analysis, you find that segments of donors in specific age brackets donate more. You may then decide to focus more on outreach to these groups in order to increase the campaign's overall success. Knowledge becomes wisdom over time. This highest level of the pyramid acknowledges that wisdom comes from various sources and analytical processes. While the DIKW model provides a structured approach to data, information, knowledge, and wisdom, a narrow and focused interpretation is not enough. A more nuanced understanding of these concepts can be achieved through comprehensive approaches that consider context, relationships, and culture. For instance, we have much to learn from indigenous knowledge and wisdom. These are often rooted in community, land, and spirituality. Imposing one single understanding of the world we live in can perpetuate ideas and notions that are not appropriate in all contexts. Recognizing the value of indigenous knowledge and wisdom is one step, albeit small, toward reconciliation. 
So why should we consider this incremental and multi-level approach to understanding the world we live in? Because collecting data is not the end of the learning process. In fact, it's simply the beginning. Data must undergo important transformations and interpretations to lead to sensible decisions in your organizations. How can we apply this pyramid framework in the nonprofit sector? Let's consider an example. We know that several organizations in the sector address the unhoused. As the pyramid suggests, an incremental approach would first require that the organizations seek data about the unhoused population in their city. Level 1. Data. They could then be interested in understanding specific information like who are the individuals currently in this situation, where have they come from, and more. Level 2. Information. In order to better align their programs, organizations working on the unhoused crisis would want to understand the factors contributing to or impacting the specific population they aim to serve. Level 3. Knowledge. To broaden their impact, they would probably want to learn from the best practices of other organizations in the same field and acquire the perspectives of experts and the unhoused themselves. Level 4. Wisdom. In an indigenous context and acknowledging that the process would most likely be iterative, the organization could consult elders or indigenous-led or focused organizations to prevent potential unforeseen harm. Taking these perspectives into account could also help to ensure that their approach is mindful, that it supports any existing initiatives, and understands how traditional approaches can play an important role in healing the populations they seek to serve. To conclude, data is only the start of a longer learning and decision-making process involving incremental levels of understanding.